Alright guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, going to go over an article titled, 13 People Reveal What Happened When They Gave Their Cheating Partners Second Chances. Is the old adage, once a cheater, always a cheater, true? And guys, this article which I came across goes right into that. It's going to interview 13 people and they give some of them a very brief summary exactly what happened when they gave their wives or husbands or partners or spouses, whatever the hell you want to call it, a second chance upon discovering that they were cheating. And as you can imagine, in most of these stories, it didn't exactly end very well. And this is why, you know, so many articles or stories I go over, guys, or personal stories that you guys send in, it's always the case where... And it's, it's generally with guys. The guys are great husbands or boyfriends or fiancés. And they, they do all these nice things for their girl. And yet they cheat. And just they feel awful, don't know what to do. So they give them a second chance. Whether for themselves or for the kids or I don't know what. And it is only a matter of time before the same thing happens again. But worse. Okay. And she treats them worse and all that. So it's always best that you find out that you're... Uh, significant other or whatever that you want to call it is cheating it's best to just walk away and move on and always pay attention to red flags and all that but some people don't so i'm going to go through this here you can see a little more i'm talking about so it starts off it says uh would you give a cheating partner a second chance and if you did could you ever trust them again or is the old saying once a cheater always a cheater 100 percent true of the time in a recent Reddit thread, people shared what happened when they gave their cheating partner another chance. In some instances, the couples rebuilt the trust, and in others, not so much. Here's what happened to them. Okay, number one. It says, I started to trust her again until. I forgave her because it was only photos. I started to trust her again until she tried to F my friend. Found out that she had been with over 30 guys in the five months together. Holy crap, 30 guys. He forgave her because I guess she was exchanging pictures. And then next thing you know, she's effing his friend. And then found out that it was 30 guys in five months. Do you think she's going to change? Do you think the next guy that she's ever, she's going to be with, even if he's the greatest guy in the world, the greatest catch, she's not going to change? 30 guys in five months? That's some serious issues right there. Uh, another situation, another story. Number two, all the insecurities and negative thoughts will slowly eat you apart. I gave her a second chance, but broke it off years later. All the insecurities and negative thoughts will slowly eat you apart. Don't recommend anyone to go through the same experience. We're still good friends, though. Pfft, why? Why would you ever be friends with someone that would do that to you? Uh-uh, I don't care what the situation is. Goodbye forever. I don't care what this, the deal is. Uh, situation number three. To be honest, he was right in that I wasn't horny and didn't really have time for his BS. My ex's excuse, the second time he cheated, was that I didn't have time for him and was neglecting his S-word needs. As the time, uh, at the time we had a toddler, I was pregnant with kid number two and acting as my mother's caregiver which, uh, while she died of brain cancer. To be honest, he was right in that I wasn't horny and didn't really have time for his BS, but he could have helped me rather than spending his free time having you-know-what with other people. So she's pregnant taking care of the mom, toddler and all that, just not paying attention to him. Yeah, he can be frustrated, but not cool to cheat. You know, so, you know, I'm, I'm fair here, guys. If, 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 a guy, if a guy's doing the same thing, cheating or doing awful things the way a woman does, I'm going to call him on it. Uh, number four, it worked for a while. I ended up not giving a crap at a certain point because like another poster said, the insecurities will destroy you. So I figured it was in my best interest to just let everything go and let her do her thing without it bothering me all the time. So he knew something was going on and just let it go and did his thing. That's healthy. It worked for a while until we both realized that I didn't really care anymore, for the most. She ended up cheating on me again and I felt heartbroken again. We were friends with benefits for a couple months after that. I had nobody in my life at this time, so I felt I had to do it. No, that's not a good way to go. And here come the sirens. I really thought I'd make it without sirens today. Then she became incredibly distant and we agreed just to not talk to each other. I haven't talked to her in nearly two years and haven't missed her at all. Well, good. She brings nothing to your life. Number five, I always forgave him because he wasn't an a-hole outside of the cheating. I just got out of a five and a half year relationship, married for four and a half. He cheated multiple times and I always caught him. See? Every time she caught the guy, she forgave him and he did it again. 
He never came clean on his own. I always forgave him because he wasn't an a-hole outside of the cheating. He had a rough childhood and a very compassionate person. Translation, she fell for the damaged bad boy. We have two kids together, and he's a great father, but he just couldn't stop lying and cheating. I've become a shell of the person I once was without even realizing it. I don't recognize myself. It's been eight weeks since the separation, and I'm still struggling to navigate through my new life. It feels like I'm missing a limb, but at the same time, I feel so free. I hope he can get the help he needs. Uh, she'll forgive me and hold me back again. She fell for a bad boy. Number six, he cheated again. I tried. I didn't forgive him, but I loved him enough to try again, even when I didn't trust him anymore. Guess what, though? He cheated again. Shocker. Number seven. Some of these are real short, guys, and some of these are longer. Number seven, and this is a longer one. Our relationship is stronger than it's ever been. Now we're going to have a situation where there's cheating involved, there's forgiving, and supposedly it's better than it ever was. She says, my husband had a very short emotional affair with a co-worker. She started sex, uh, texting him inappropriate pictures, none naked, but close to it. I found out. We were having some problems at the time, and I wanted a divorce. I forgave him because we had a two-year-old at the time, and I do and I do understand how it happened. He wants to help people, but he's blind to red flags, so it makes him an easy mark. She had a thing for married men. Her last two boyfriends were both married, and she wanted his shoulder to cry on when she had the previous one break up with her. My husband is always quick to lend his shoulder, men, women, whatever. He likes being needed, whereas I'm super independent. He realized he really, really effed up when he knew I was serious about leaving. He begged me to stay, asked me to go to marriage counseling, set up an appointment for individual therapy for himself. He did, he did talk me into marriage counseling. The counselor thought it was possible to fix it. We worked less than the affair itself, only two sessions. And more on everything else that was stressing the marriage that we didn't realize. Our oldest is four years old now. We also have a one-year-old. Our relationship is strong as it's ever been. And he learned that because he has the, in, has the inability to distinguish between people who are really in need help and those that want something else. He needs to work on himself and his desire to be needed before he should be trying to help others. He still goes to his own therapist once a month. That was a condition I asked for since I know it will help him regulate himself. Okay, well, there's a situation that it, uh, in, her, in her view, made it stronger. But here's the deal. This guy wasn't actually physically cheating okay it looked like things were going to that point and and the way she describes her husband and again this is her her take on the situation he's kind of clueless so maybe he was trying to help that girl for whatever it was and then she was sending him pictures for attention who the hell knows so but that this that that example is not quite the same you know as the others but okay number eight situation number eight once a cheater always a cheater i forgave them because they admitted it was a mistake Forgave them. Is this like one of these non-binary things? Let me just read this again. I forgave them, unless this was a typo, because it was it was they admitted it was a mistake. Totally regret it now. Once a cheater, always a cheater. After breaking up with my partner, I found out in the four-year relationship he cheated with five people that I know of, including my best friend and another family friend. Yes, he knew they both were known to me. Damn. Goes both ways. The, the chick hooking up with the with the dude's best friend, and in this case here, this guy hooking up with her best friend. That's freaking low. Number nine. I stayed as I wanted security and both parents to be together for the best interest of our child. The age old staying in it for the kid situation, which never works. My ex cheated with two guys who were best friends with each other. She went to town drinking and took one of them back to the flat I paid for. The other, I don't know. She was pregnant at the time with my daughter. Ugh. She's cheating with two different dudes, best friends, and she's pregnant. They're sticking their sausage in your daughter's house. I found out one day before the uh, SCX scan, which is the day before my birthday. I never felt so much pain at the time. I stayed as I wanted security and both parents to be together for the best interest of our child. But it didn't work out. We split up for a few months after my daughter was born. Are you sure that is your daughter? After what was going on, I would most certainly demand a paternity test, DNA test, whatever you want to call it. That's awful. 
She then got, got with someone a few days after we split up. So he could have been the third person with whom she cheated on me with. I know I was stupid to stay with her and 100% would not have stayed if she wasn't pregnant. But I have a better relationship with now with a wonderful partner who supports me and helps with my child. And I'm glad I split up with her when I did. Otherwise, I would have still been in a toxic relationship and never met the love of my life. Well, let's hope that this second around with this guy, with his new girl, goes really well. He certainly went through hell with the first one. But I would still demand a paternity test or a DNA test because three dudes and Lord knows how many other ones were in the picture that he didn't know about. Number 10, uh, 10th story. In some crazy way, it also made us stronger. I forgave him a year ago. Notice most of these are about guys cheating. We all know that's a bunch of BS. It should be more like, uh, to be realistic here, more like the women cheating. I forgave him a year ago. It was a uh, drunk kiss in a faraway country. He called me immediately and told me everything and stepped up on the, fo the phone home an hour later. The next day we talked, talked, and talked, and eventually seeing his regret, I decided to forgive him. Obviously, it hurt our relationship. I couldn't trust him anymore the way I did. But in some crazy way, it also made us stronger. It made us see that what we almost lost and showed the value of our relationship. Today, we are stronger than ever, but obviously still working through what, what happened. I'm glad I forgave him and that I therefore gave him a chance to make everything right, which he did. We all make mistakes. It matters how we deal with them. Well, I wish them luck. Again, this happened supposedly in the story where the guy was away and kissed somebody or whatever, a drunken kiss. Okay. That, that's the story there. We'll see. Uh, number 11. I don't regret going back to my ex because going back and trying to make it work gave me the chance to find closure. I know you would like a positive, uplifting story. Perhaps you were going through a rough time in your relationship. Perhaps you were cheated on or someone cheated on you. I can only talk from my own experience, which was a negative one. Every relationship is different and has its own set of challenges. My ex cheated on me with four... What's the word I can describe this? Uh, women that do things... Uh, call girls, fine. I try to keep my what I say here on YouTube... PC or not PC, but I have to behave myself on YouTube because they censor everything, but we'll see, whatever. Four call girls. Needless to say, I didn't want to back out of a nine year relationship as I really did love him. I attempted four months to trust him again. I read books, I went to counseling, and truly at the core, tried to understand what he did. I do regret looking at his internet history as I got to the point where I no longer trusted him. It was that bad. Yeah. The secrets of the world are on people's phones and their internet browser history. My ex showed a lack of remorse, attended only one counseling session, and did not show me respect and love. Eventually, I was emotionally exhausted when he said he had nothing more to give in the relationship we divorced. I really loved my ex and was unable to forgive him. He obviously didn't love you, and he's hooking up with uh, call girls. Best to move on. She gave him a chance. However, I am sure if both parties are willing to work on a marriage or relationship, I think it's possible to overcome cheating. However, it is a very painful process for both parties and takes time, work, and effort. Perhaps more effort than moving on in some circumstances. Regaining trust and respect for each other afterwards takes a lot of work and patience. I encourage you to do what is best for you in the situation. I don't regret going back to my ex because going back and trying to make it work. I believe it stopped me from thinking what, what if and gave me a second chance to find closure in my relationship. Well, that's what she needed is what she needed. But at the end of the day, it proved that, guess what? He was still going to keep on cheating. So, you know, but, hey, it's her life. Number 12, things improved for a little bit. He cheated again multiple times, again with the guy cheating here. He cheated again multiple times. I found out the first time about a year into the, re into the relationship. I told him that if it ever happened again, or if he ever had the urge to cheat again, to discuss it with me, and we would work through it. I just don't like being lied to, especially when I had to find out in a rough, ugly day through our social circle. He agreed and things improved for a little bit, just before our two-year anniversary. I ended up finding out through a mutual acquaintance that he had been consistently unfaithful with many people in our circle. He's hooking up with people in their circle of friends. That's terrible. And stupid. She's going to find out. Duh. I didn't bother to ask how many. And that most people knew and turned a blind eye. In fact, women in our social network knew he was weak and could keep and could sleep with them if they wanted to and would do so, whether he had a girlfriend or not. Needless to say, it ended up and I dropped out of the entire scene of people altogether. I couldn't stand being around so-called friends who, 
protect his behavior, or feeling like the fool who has been pitied for having some unfaithful partner and being the only one who didn't know. So the circle of friends knew, and he was obviously hooking up with other women, so-called friends of hers, frenemies, if you will. You know, I heard somebody say in a video I did recently about jealous women and things like that, is that women don't have friends, they have rivals. And there really is a lot of truth to that. A lot of people may not like what I say about that, but if you really are honest with yourselves, there is a lot of truth to that. She finishes up saying, most people think it was the cheating, but fundamentally it was the lying. I would be hurt, yes, but I'd much rather let someone go and be free to do whatever they wanted than waste my time. I had lots of trust issues and self-esteem issues I have to work through as a result of that. But I have a wonderful, supportive, and loyal partner now who helped me work through the baggage and empower myself to grow from it. Well, wish her the best. And again, in the future, this dude cheats. Move on. And last one, 13, some people take forgiveness as getting off the hook for shit and will continue to abuse your kindness. She says, he's no, longer my, he's no longer my significant other, but I feel like I need to share this for others to hear. He cheated on me with my best friend at the time. Again, with the guy cheating. The ratio of men cheating versus women cheating in this, this little article here is a little off, I think. I ended the friendship rather than the relationship because I thought his honesty in coming forward to admit his wrongdoing was noble and deserved another chance. So she forgives him, but uh, the friends toast. And again, again, back to the uh, women on friends, they have rivals. He unfortunately took my forgiveness, forgiveness as, oh, I can get away with it and off scot-free. After I forgave him, he continued to F said friend on the side, made out with other close friend, hit on several of my other friends, and then ultimately asked me over the phone for a hall pass so he could sleep with his co-worker. Great guy. I had been with him for about a quarter of my life at the time and was so invested or comfortable in the relationship that it was very, very difficult for me to break it off. Despite his infidelities and overall shittiness, I finally grew a pair and told him to F off and haven't spoken to him since. That day changed her life. After breaking off, I had several great relationships, both casual and serious. I learned a lot about myself, what I like and dislike, and accept and don't accept in a relationship. And I learned that SEX is supposed to be enjoyable for both parties. I'm now engaged to a wonderful man who actually gives an F about me. Well, hopefully uh, this isn't a situation where she was with the bad boy before and was turned on by the bad boy, and yet big surprise when he cheated. And now she's with a nice guy, and hopefully she doesn't go do the same thing that the bad boy did to her. Let's hope. Moral of the story, it may not be true in all cases, but be aware that some people take forgiveness as getting off the hook for shit, and will continue to abuse your kindness and understanding to run around you. And please be aware on whether you are in a relationship because it's actually fulfilling, or because you're just comfortable. Well, anyhow, guys, that is 13 different stories, some very short, some a little bit longer, giving examples about the whole, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. There were a couple situations where, where the guy did it, but... He didn't actually get too physical, so nothing really happened, and they, the woman worked it out with him. But pretty much everything else, either the man's cheating or the woman's cheating, it always led to more of it. Okay, so like I said countless times, you know, with guys, a lot of women can't understand why some guys can't forgive them because guys are always going to imagine her with other dudes. They'll go to bed at night and lay there next to her, and they're pitching her with other dudes. They're hooking up, and she's riding him, and he's imagining some other dude doing the same thing. We just can't. We're not going to let that go. And just, it's always best to just move on. And the idea is staying in it for the kids, you know. And yeah, it's great that people want to uh, sacrifice their own happiness for their children. I, 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 I can, in a way, sort of respect that because they want to. They love their kids. But in the end, it's not doing the kids any favors if mom and dad can't stand each other, are fighting all the time, they're not speaking to each other, no love, because those kids will ultimately end up, end up uh, statistically in a relationship very similar to that, if not worse, because that's what they observed at home, what they're used to. Your parents are really your first major role models into how things are, whether you realize it or not. So, but always best to just move on. So, anyhow, guys, I thought you would find that interesting, given the fact that many of the stories and articles I cover in one form or another deal with a lot of cheating and things like that. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know in the comment section. You know, any experiences you may have had with this, and what happened if you forget when you forgave and let them gave them a second chance. Did they? cut the shit or did they cheat on you again? Let me know about that. People will certainly read that. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.